Hi. In this episode, we will see in detail about the types of curves. and, the elements of curves. and, the derivation of, some important formulas. just in 10 minutes time. Welcome to Civil Guru. These videos made in different languages, like, English, Hindi, Tamil, and also in Arabic now. Please choose your desired language from our playlist. If you like this video, please like and subscribe now, and share it with your friends. Thank you. From this episode onwards, we will discuss about the curves. Let us see, the major types of curves. The first one is, vertical curves. The vertical curves are introduced, to provide smooth traffic movement of the vehicles, where two different gradients of roads are meeting. And, the second one is, horizontal curves. The horizontal curves are introduced, to provide a smooth transition, while a change in direction of moving vehicles, when two different road alignments are meeting at one point. Now, let us see, the types of horizontal curves. 1. Simple curves. An arc, is imposed as simple curve. While, two different straight lines are meeting, at one point. 2. Compound curves. Compound curves are, the combination of two simple curves with different radius. Combined together, to curve in the same direction. 3. Reverse curves. Reverse curves are, the combination of two simple curves in opposite directions. Combined together, to curve in the road alignment. Transition curve. Transition curves are a spiral curves, with varying radius, it is introduced between a straight line, and, a simple curve. This type of curves are used, to connect a straight line, and a simple curve, where the radius of the simple curve is less, and super elevations are required to be imposed. The super elevation. While turning a vehicle, is exposed to two forces. One, the, gravity which attracts the vehicle towards the ground, 2. The centripetal force, which is an external force required to keep the vehicle on a curved path at any velocity. The centripetal force would be greater for a smaller radius than a larger radius. To solve this issue, while designing the horizontal curves, the roads are slightly tilted in crossword direction at a slight tilting angle. Thus, provides ease and comfort to the driver while turning the vehicle. This phenomenon is defined as super elevation. Now, we will see about the elements of the simple curves. As we all are aware that the curves are imposed between two straight lines from different directions for the change of road direction. The point where these two straight lines are meeting is the point of intersection and it is denoted as IP or sometimes it is denoted as O. The angle between these two straight lines is, the, deflection angle. And, it is denoted in, theta. The point, from where the curve starts is, the, tangent point 1. And also known as, the, point of curve. And, it is denoted as, T1. And, the point, where the curve ends and continues as the straight line is, the tangent point 2. Also known as, the, point of tangent and, it is denoted as, T2. A straight line that connects these two tangent points is, the, chord. Also known as, the, chord length. Now, the center of this chord is, the midpoint, or, midpoint of the chord. From now, please listen carefully. Because these are all very important points. The distance, from the midpoint of curve to, the intersection point is, the, apex also known as, the, apex distance. And, the distance from midpoint of curve to midpoint of chord is, the, versi. Every highway engineer shall know about this, and, always shall remember, these two points. Because, these two points are asked in public service exams repeatedly. Also, it plays very important roles, while designing of the curves. 
the angle from the tangent point to midpoint of curve is known as the degree of curve. Now, we have to remember few basic things. Which is, the radius of curve is always perpendicular to tangent line. So, the included angle at center of curve, between these two tangent points is, always equals to, the deflection angle at intersection point. Now, for easy calculation purpose, let us draw an imaginary straight line. Connecting the points from the point of intersection, and then, the midpoints, and, to the center of circle, which is the origin point of radius. This imaginary line is, by citing the, chord means, it is perpendicular to the chord length C. With the help of this line, it forms as, a right angle triangle. And, the angle between the starting of the radius to this imaginary line is, theta divided by 2. And the distance from midpoint to tangent point is half of the chord. Which is, C divided by 2. Now, let us see in detail, about the elements of a simple curve, and, derive some formulas, by using simple trigonometry. First, the curve length, L. Already we have discussed about, the derivation of pi value, and, how to calculate the arc length, in our previous episode. As we all knew that, the perimeter of any full circle is, 2 pi r, which covers 360 degree. For semicircle, it is, pi r, which covers 180 degree. Now, to calculate the arc length, of a segment, in a semicircle is, proportionate to the value of semicircle. Which is, pi r, divided by 180 degree, into theta. The next is, the tangent length, tl. Considering this right angle triangle, the, tan theta by 2 is equal to, the opposite side, by, the adjacent side. Here, the opposite side is, the, tangent length. And, the adjacent side is, the, radius. Then, the tangent length equals to, the radius into tan theta divided by 2. Now, let us see about the apex distance. Also known as, the external distance E. Using the same right angle triangle. The cos theta by 2, equals to, the adjacent side, by hypotenuse. Here, the adjacent side is, the radius, r, and, the hypotenuse is, the total length from O to C. Now, the hypotenuse, O C, equals to, radius r divided by cos theta by 2. Which is also known as, r secant theta by 2. Now, the apex distance equals to, r divided by cos theta by 2, minus, radius. Or, r into secant theta by 2, minus radius. While designing the curve, most of the cases, we may know the apex distance from the field. Then, with the help of that, we can calculate the radius. Which is, hypotenuse, OC, minus, apex distance, which gives the radius of the curve. And, the next one is, the length of the long chord, L. Considering this right angle triangle. As we all know, the sin theta by 2 is, the opposite side by the hypotenuse. Here, the opposite side is, half of the long chord, C by 2. And, the hypotenuse is, the radius, R. Now, the half of the chord length, C by 2, is, equal to, R into sin theta by 2. Now, the length of the long chord, C, equals to, 2 R, sin theta by 2. Finally, let us see about, the mid-ordinate, M, or, the versin. By using the same right angle triangle. The cos theta by 2, is equals to, the adjacent side, by, hypotenuse. Here, the adjacent side is, CD. And, the hypotenuse is, the radius, R. Now, the length of CD equals to, R into, cos theta by 2. And, the mid-ordinate m, equals to, r minus, r cos theta by 2. In next episode, we will see about, the designing of simple curve in detail. With the help of, the data measured on site. If you like these videos, please subscribe now, and share with your friends. And also don't forget to press the bell button. Thank you.